Hello everyone. This is image 15 for the Intraoral Radiographic Interpretation Seminar course for the D3 students of the University of Minnesota School of Dentistry. In this video, we are going to discuss about complex odontoma and also compound odontoma. Let's start with a periapical radiograph showing complex odontoma. On this periapical radiograph, this is the lateral incisor, this is the canine, and this is the first premolar. The canine is vertically impacted and distally displaced. Between the root of the lateral incisor and crown of the impacted canine, we see multiple radiopaque entities. These radiopacities have a similar density as a tooth structure, with areas that have densities similar to enamel, and here may be an example of enamel-like density. In between the radioopacities are areas of thin radiolucency. Surrounding this mass is a radiolucent band similar to a follicle. Although these structures have similar density as tooth, they do not have any morphological similarity, shape similarity to a tooth. I have two panoramic radiographs, one taken on the same day as this periapical radiograph and another one a few years earlier, so let's review those two. This is the panoramic radiograph taken on the same day as the periapical radiograph. Here we see that the canine is distally displaced, the incisal tip of the canine is close to the root of the first premolar. The root of the first premolar is also slightly distally displaced. The lateral incisor is displaced. The deciduous canine root is resolved. And here is the complex odontoma surrounded by its follicle. So let's review how this area looked like a few years ago. The same patient, a few years ago. This canine is vertically oriented. The follicle of the canine is wide almost looks like a dentigerous cyst. The lateral incisor is slightly displaced. The premolar does not appear to be displaced. So in a few years, this radiolucent area developed the complex odontoma. Most likely, this radiolucency was the follicle of the developing complex odontoma. During this time, we do not have a cross-sectional imaging to know if this radiolucency is associated with the canine or if it is a radiolucency separate and just superimposed over the canine crown. But we have a CBCT scan done on the same day as we had the periapical radiograph. So let's review that. So this is the CBCT scan of the mandibular arch showing the complex odontoma, the canine premolar and the lateral incisor. This blue line represents the image on this screen. So this is the complex odontoma. It has slightly expanded the lingual cortical plate. The lingual cortex is thin. The labial cortical plate is also thin. And we scroll through. So this is the white follicle of the odontoma and there's some expansion of the buccal cortical plate. On the axial slice, here is the odontoma. This is the canine crown, and we can see compared to the cortical plate here, there's some expansion. As we went through here, we did not see any signs of a morphological similarity to a tooth structure. So this would be a complex odontoma. So an odontoma can be of two types. One is the compound where we have small denticles similar to morphology of a tooth. And what we saw on our radiograph is a complex odontoma, which has no morphological similarity to a tooth structure. How do we manage an odontoma? A simple excision and removal of the odontoma is sufficient. There's no recurrence. We have to worry about the follicle of the odontoma, which may become a dentigerous cyst. Let's review a CBCT scan of a patient with compound odontoma. So on this CBCT scan, we see an area of complex odontoma between the lateral incisor and the canine on the right side. 
and as we see through the cross section that's the root and this is the crown so it has a morphological similarity to a tooth structure a small denticle here is another one here is another one so that's the crown and the root is here this is the crown the root is here so this would fulfill the diagnosis of a compound odontoma on the distal aspect here these are dense bone island and we had reviewed a dense bone island on a different video again we can see this is the appearance of a dense bone island Thank you very much. Please come back again for another video on intraoral radiographic interpretation.